Hi, this is George, and I want to share a practice that I do every day that really helps me feel energized throughout my working day, or at least being able to be more clear and focused. And that practice is to take a 12-minute nap. Uh, I want to give you a couple pointers about it. One is that a 12-minute nap is nice because um, I don't sleep long enough where I start to feel groggy. I notice that if I sleep for, if I try to sleep at least for 20, 25, 30, 45 minutes even, I will feel groggy for the rest of the day and I can't work. But somehow 12 minutes allows me to feel refreshed without feeling groggy. And uh, the key is that I don't even need to fall asleep during those 12 minutes, but somehow laying down and enjoying the, well, the couch uh, is where I, where I nap, uh, really makes a difference in helping me feel like a new person. Um, and there's a lot of science that has been coming out recently about uh, sleep and napping and how important it is for the brain. So the nap is not even for the body to rest. I mean, unless you do you know, a lot of physical labor during the day, but uh, for most of us, we're doing kind of more mental labor. And so the nap is really for the brain to feel refreshed again because the, when you are not consciously working, uh, when you close your eyes and allow yourself to kind of drift, your brain is doing its magic of integrating what you've been uh, reading, seeing, watching, working on throughout the day, and and giving you sort of new associations, new connections. And so, um, if you nap uh, consistently, I think you'll actually find that you're also more creative. And there's Buddy, by the way. <laughs> you're also more creative uh, in your work. And so, let me give you a couple of keys to allow this practice to. to I'll share with you what works for me, and and uh, I invite you to try it and see if it helps you as well. So, number one is you've got to decide where you nap, uh, where and, and when you nap, okay? Secondly is you've got to use a, use a timer so that you don't sleep too long. And third is to not worry about falling asleep. So one is um, I basically uh, I work from home. So uh, I have a, we have, we have a, a office where I work and then there's, there's a living room where the couch is and I put a blanket uh, and a pillow. And it's always there, the blanket and pillow is always there. And so I take two naps a day. I take one in uh, the morning uh, after breakfast, and then I take the second one after lunch. So the, the way my schedule works is that I work, I, I do some work before breakfast, so I get some things done. And then I, after I eat breakfast, I usually feel a little bit of low, uh, low. Even though I eat a healthy breakfast, I still feel a bit of low, maybe because I'm eating breakfast you know, relatively quickly. I don't want to spend a lot of time doing it. So um, I, I then take a nap. And my nap just makes me feel refreshed again. Again, I don't have to fall asleep. I just let my brain drift. And I feel refreshed and I'm able to work um, throughout the rest of the, uh, the morning until lunch. And then lunch, I eat lunch. Uh, and then I take a nap, 12 minutes again. And I feel refreshed the rest of the afternoon until dinner time. And then for dinner time, I actually eat very, very slowly. We're usually watching some kind of show we enjoy or some kind of movie, uh, you know, sh movie or show on Netflix or something like that. So I really just take my time eating dinner. I just savor every bite. I eat extremely slowly. It takes me like an hour um, to eat, you know, a portion of food, an hour and a half sometimes. And so I think when I eat really slowly, I don't tend to feel sluggish afterwards. And that's maybe a, a that's maybe a key there too. So. I don't nap after dinner, uh, so I just morning and, and af uh, after breakfast, after lunch, and then the the the, um, the second key is to have a timer. I use my phone. There's a timer app on my phone that comes by comes with it. I just set it on 13 minutes. I actually don't set it 12 minutes. I set it 13 minutes, but uh, it takes me about a minute to kind of settle into the couch. Okay, um, and then the final key is you don't have to you don't have to fall asleep. Just try to enjoy the experience of the pillow and enjoy being cuddled by your couch or the bed or the floor and um, uh, don't worry about falling asleep just let your brain drift okay so I invite you to try that see how it works for you and um, as always I'm open to your questions and your comments be well